In this video, we're going to show you how to configure Hyper-V for Windows Home Edition. This should work for Windows 10 or Windows 11 Home. So normally you need Windows Professional or Windows Enterprise to uh, configure Hyper-V for virtualization purposes. So first thing you want to do is make sure your processor can handle virtualization. You could check that in the BIOS, but most newer computers should be able to handle this and it'll let you know if you can't do it. So if you were to go to Control Panel and then turn Windows features on or off, you would see that there's nothing about Hyper-V in there. But there is this batch file that's been created to enable this feature. And I have it downloaded here. I'll put a link in the description so you could download it. So if you right click it on edit it, you could see what it's going to do. You know, make sure everything looks safe. So once again, any type of batch file, you know, I didn't make this file, so use it at your own risk. Uh, back up your computer and all that good stuff because you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> Okay, so once you have the batch file, you just need to right-click it and run as administrator. Let it do its thing. Okay, so as you can see, there was quite a process, it installed a lot of things, and it took a few minutes. So I sped up the video so you didn't have to wait as long. So all you need to do is press Y to restart the computer, then it'll kind of look like it's doing some Windows updates. So I'll go ahead and do that, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we rebooted after the updates, so we're back in Control Panel and Programs and Features. So we'll look at the uh, Turn Windows Features On or Off section again. And now you can see we have Hyper-V. And they're both checked, the management tools and the platform. So that's good. So we'll uh, click on search here, type in Hyper-V, and there we go. Let's see if we could run it. So it looks like we have it up and running here. That's the name of the laptop here. So we could do a new virtual machine and just kind of go through the uh, motions there. So pretty simple. So that's how you do it. And of course, if you want to get rid of it that you could just go back to programs and features here and windows features on and off and then uncheck these two box or actually uncheck these two or just uncheck hyper-v right there and do another reboot and you should have it uh taken off and back to the way you were all right so like i said i'll put a link to that batch file in there make sure you back up your computer first and see how it works for you all right thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe <laughs>